Hey folks, Chill here, and we're with Game Watchers Network. We're gonna watch a game. Uh, this time it'll be League of Legends, of course, and it's a high elo game on the new map. So we're doing preseason five. We're in 4.20 here, and let's see. We had some. This is a game on the EU server. Didn't really recognize any of the names off the top of my head, but uh, looks like some interesting matchups here. I'm going to put it on pause briefly. On the blue team, we have uh, Pantheon in the jungle, Vayne down in the bot lane, uh, Jace up top, Orianna in mid, and Blitzcrank will be supporting. On the red team, it's going to be uh, Maokai. Uh, where's Maokai going to be? Is he going to be support? Okay. Looks like it's going to be Rise up top. Uh, Kha'Zix will be in the jungle. Zed's gonna be in the middle. Ezreal is down bottom with Maokai supporting him. So that'll be interesting. Let's give this a whirl. Alright. There we are. Everyone pop it in. You get us as long as you stay inside the circle, you'll get a ghost that'll help you get out of there faster. And they basically did that just so that's people who, uh, have slight delays because of their computers or whatever in getting in will have a little better chance of getting out to, uh, to where they need to be in on the map and the idea is that overall if you were like really quick you'd end up you know at a certain spot and now with the ghost you basically will end up there anyway that's the whole idea all right Pantheon goes deep, puts down a ward. Ezreal does not have a sweeper, so he's going to know it's there, but can't really do anything about it. It was placed just before, before one minute before uh, the actual spawn, so they'll basically know for sure uh, you know, if Kha'Zix goes there, but Kha'Zix is in fact going towards his red. Blitzcrank threw a blind hook to see if they could pull anyone into them. And they are going for a bit of an invade. They've got a sort of, they're using this slight curve to block. And Blitzcrank throws a hook. Israel did throw a ward in that bush, so they will know he's there. And Malachi and Israel are coming back. He throws a Q. And does not uh, get hit th get hit by a Blitzcrank hook, so that's pretty good. Maokai's thrown a couple of seedlings. Throws a blind hook, but Maokai manages to avoid it. There come the spawns. And Kha'Zix is already working on the red with help from Ryze. So, Jace is going to get a little bit of free farm time, although he's not really pushing the lane. Looks like he just wants to freeze it instead. Maybe he's expecting his long range to be... Uh, Mighty boon to him. Yeah. Meanwhile, Zed's looks like he's already wanting to kind of go aggressive and get in Oriana's face. Yeah, She's not having any of that. She's throwing morass on him. Bottom lane, there's the new look of Maokai. Very nice. And he's gonna, looks like he wants to harass uh, the blue bottom lane as much as they, as much as he can. Maokai did not go with a gold item, he went with straight for a sapphire crystal, so presumably that will be working towards a Rod of Ages, just like it just like it would if he was going top lane, so there you go. It's gonna be a long time before he gets that Rod of Ages though, if, unless he gets some kills. He's with no gold item and uh, no farm. But that's not exactly a whole lot of gold, so yeah, he's got the plus one, so he's got the utility. He's got the utility masteries going for him. He may have... It's possible he has gold generation. He may, he may have some gold gen... He may have taken some gold generation quints. I'm not sure. Ooh, Blitz just misses. Blitz is now low on mana. Meanwhile, Kha'Zix is coming around the, kind of the back here, Oriana. <laughs> Looks like he wanted to do some counter jungling. 
Ooh, the blue buff is still up for Pantheon. Kha'Zix is going to start it, but Pantheon's on his way to get it. So, can Kha'Zix get it and get away? I'm not sure. Pantheon's awfully close now. Blue, blue buff is still below half. Here comes Pantheon. It's going to turn into a fight. There's the stun. Pan Kha'Zix is in trouble. He jumps. Oh, and it gets smited away. Nicely done by Kha'Zix. And the dragon got smited for you? Oh. going back to base after a successful steal of the blue buff. Meanwhile in the mid, mid lane, Orion has been harassed down pretty hard by the Zed. She's also low on mana, so she's got some troubles. Here comes Pantheon. Oh! Pantheon! Not able to help out Zed with a solo kill on her. Pantheon's trying to follow up. But he's level 2. Ouch. Level 2 to Zed's 5. Yeah, I think Zed might turn this on him. Yep, there's the harass and Pantheon should be get, getting out of there. So the jungles, junglers, both Kha'Zix and Pantheon, having troubles getting those early levels with the new difficult jungle jungle farm. Pantheon goes down to Kha'Zix. Rise helping out with a nice little bit of damage and uh, a root. Very good. All right, in the top lane, Rise is a little low on mana, but full health. And the bottom lane, red got red side got pushed right up to their turret. And then Vayne and Blitzcrank decide to go right on back. Ezreal's back to lane, so Malkai is going to take a breather and get his mana up. And let's see, he's going to he should have enough for his. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh, there. Okay. There. Oh, he's actually going for a sight stone first. Wow. All right. So he is going for the sight stone, not going immediately for Rod of Ages. So it's going to just put it off even more. Ooh, Kha'Zix. Came in for the gank Arena on Jace. There. There's a nice little lot, bit of lockdown. Here comes Kha'Zix from the from bottom. Jace is doing what he can, but that's going to be all she wrote. Kha'Zix is low, but does end up surviving. And Ryze also is low, and he's taken some harass from some of the minions still. But he'll be alright. And Pantheon is invading since he saw uh, Kha'Zix have to go back. He is going to invade and take that blue. Now uh, Kha'Zix never took his own blue, did he? He took his red and then he's he stayed level two and he stayed up he never came down and took the blue at all, so it's still been there the whole time. Alright, Pantheon takes that. Gets a good bit of experience out of it. Looks like he got the uh, crab on the way in. Meanwhile, Zed's doing some roaming. He's got his ultimate. That's gonna be a dead blitzcrank. And Vayne is dead as well. Ezreal getting that kill. Ooh, but <laughs> Vayne gets a kill back on Zed. A little bit too much tower damage. Pantheon's gonna try to hold down the fort. Ezreal's at full health, though. He Pantheon might end up being in trouble. He's only level 3 to Ezreal's 5. And it's starting to look like maybe uh, the jungle's a little too tough. Maybe uh, only a certain type of jungle champ is gonna be able to really get levels and survive well in the early going. I mean, we did, even... Uh, you know, even though he's got a kill on him, Kha'Zix's still only level 4. That's tied for lowest in the game, and it's tied with the other jungler, who is Pantheon. So, Pantheon takes his double golems. I guess they're called Krugs now. Something like it, anyway. Now he's gonna go after the red. I don't know what I don't know what that was. Okay. All right, he's getting awfully low to this red buff. Does smite it down. And he's gonna be okay. So he's finally level five. Kazakh's also level five. A lot of pings uh, about both from both both sides about the mid being missing. 
Sids are actually going back and to it, and Oriana's there too. Kaz is coming in for a second gank, and that's going to be a second kill on Jace. Rai's got one, and Kazakh's got one of those. Rai's got a little bit low, but he's uh, burning some pots, and it looks like he wants to hang around in lane for a little while. In the bottom lane, Bane's trying to put some damage on, but here comes a roam from Zed. Kills the Vayne. Blitzcrank tries to pull Zed in, does, but not under the tower, so not enough damage. Maokai with the follow-up. Maokai gets the kill. It's now 8-2 in favor of Red. They are ahead by 3,000 gold. No towers yet. At 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Ezreal's a little low. Pantheon's gonna jump in. Throw down the harass. He gets it. Blocks it out. But Maokai's there, so Pantheon's gonna be in trouble. He's quite low. He's going to soak up some of this experience, though, and try to keep the minions from all being lost to the tower. So he sees Vayne coming, and he's going to head back to the jungle. All right. Actually, the way he did it, actually, is pretty good for Vayne. That kept the minions from going under the turret and getting lost, potentially. And Pantheon's going to back up. Azix looks like he just finished up the crab in the top part near the Baron and he is actually gonna back. So he's n oh he cancelled his back. Maybe because he saw Ariana, I don't know. Okay. Executed. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so let's watch that. Sorry. You can see the uh, new raptor tr raptors do tons and tons of damage. Executed. He just... Kha'Zix just wasn't able to handle it. And he's level 6 and he still isn't able to handle him. That's, that's how tough these jungle creeps are. There's just some... Uh, I, I, I have a hunch that they're going to get toned down a little bit. They toned him up on purpose, but I think they're going to have to tone him back a little bit. Because otherwise... The only, you know, junglers who will be able to survive will be the heavy farmers like uh, the Warwicks and the Udyrs and the other ones who can sustain themselves really, really well. That, that would leave it to just a handful of junglers, really. Oriana takes the Zed ult and gets killed. Meanwhile, Pantheon kills Rise. So, Jace getting a little bit of help. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, though, they're pushing really hard. Oh! Ezreal gets pulled, gets a lot of damage down on him, but Maokai's in there, in their face, put, throws up his ult, knocking him back. Vayne's trying to follow up. He's now low. Ezreal's healed himself back up a little bit. Uses a summoner heal, actually, for a good portion of that. And Vayne's gonna try to keep things back under their turret. Blitz, mits, Blitz misses that hook. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Ryze and Kha'Zix go on after Pantheon and Jace. Neither of them go down, though. And Kha'Zix is at about half health. Gonna ha head back to his jungle. Ezreal throws out his ult. Blitz is really low. Vayne's actually acting as protector right now, but she's getting low to herself. Oh, she goes in hard. Gets killed by the Maokai. That was uh, not such a good decision. That was got that was going way too hard. Blitz is too low. He knows that he knows the waves are gonna be pushed right under the turret, but there's not much he can do about it. He's except to go back, get healed up, and then head back on out. He's using his speed to get there faster. Bane will be heading out too. Instead though, Pantheon's gonna try to force Ezreal out. Not sure if it was such a great idea. Maybe he should have just stayed there and taken the farm. Well, he does get he does stun. But he's under turret. He's not doing, not having a great time there. Blitz actually gets a lot of the fun. <laughs> Ezreal's uh, backing keeps uh, talking really loud. Wherever wherever you are in the map, it's really bizarre. Zed kills Pantheon right there on your jet dragon, and the dragon's aggroed. Ooh, taking lots of damage. 
Now, yeah, red team wants to go back and work on the dragon. <laughs> Maokai's also taking out the ward, for whatever reason. Bane's there to crash this party. Jace kills Rise. That was up in the top lane. Blitz tries to throw a hook. Doesn't can't, though. Bane's following up, trying to take out the dragon. They put down a ward inside the dragon pit. Dragon's healing himself back up. He's almost full. Dragon's back to full. And the red team's gonna take out the crab. Oh, Pantheon. Way too low. Gets caught out and surrounded and wiped out. Oriana's backing, as well as Blitz. Bane's gonna just go ahead and farm. And Kha'Zix is asking for a little bit of help. Or, you know, make, maybe asking if he wants to gift it over. I'm not sure which one in this case. I know, all I know is that Kha'Zix <laughs> knows how dangerous these are. And in fact, he was gifting it over. Ezreal with the blue buff, so... And Ezreal is kind of going for a blue build. A magey build with Tear of the Goddess. He's already got another Sapphire Crystal. He's got a pickaxe, so... Yeah, it's going to go for some variation on a blue build. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Orianna's a little bit ahead of Zed now in farm, even though Zed is 6-1 and 3, and she's only 1-2-0. She's slightly ahead in farm, so that's something. But, uh, obviously Zed is a lot stronger than her right now. He's gonna push her right back to her turret. Ooh, that's good harass. She gonna be able to take it? Yes, she gets the, the cannon minion. Meanwhile, Blue's asking for help in their bottom lane. Bane and Blitz are being pushed back to their turret again. Oh, here comes Pantheon with the ult, but it's not really close enough. Blitz hook is not long enough, and... Oh, flashing out from the Pantheon. He's going in hard for the Ezreal, but Maokai's on him, all over him. Meanwhile, Zed's killed Orion in the mid lane again. And uh, Pantheon is forced to go back, so Pantheon not really being <laughs> much help right now. I'm not sure if that was meant as a as an editorial comment. Now I'm sure that was. Yeah, Blitz is Blitz is kind of making fun of the Pantheon for uh, going ham and not getting any results. So let's see. Yep, yet another gank. Jace goes down yet again, so he's one three one. Rise is one two three, and he's a little bit ahead in farm, but not much. He's got Rod of Ages in his tier, though. That's going to be really good for him. Let's see how that tier is going for him. It's already ha oh, we're halfway done. And the Rod is at 40, so not too bad. So Red team looks like they just want to more or less take the rest of that turret. Yeah, a little bit of it will be left behind, but not too much. Maokai gets pulled under the turret aggro. He's getting awfully low now. Vayne's pushing him hard. Vayne does get the kill. Not bad. So she's now 2 3 0. Oh, she's slightly ahead in farm, actually. Not sure exactly how that's possible. But uh, she's doing good farm, apparently. And Israel does back up, as you can hear by the really loud uh, <laughs> voiceover that happens every time he does it. Alright. Jace manages to kill Rise. So let's take a look at how that kind of transpires. Oh, yeah, looks like Rise was already kind of low. Yeah, Rise is just kind of sitting there trying to get the turret low. And Jace is going to be able to chase this down. Oh, hits with the acceleration gate. Charge, and that is all she wrote. Basically, that's all he needed to do to ensure the kill. All right. Blue team is kind of pinging on the dragon area. Crab's there. Dragon's there. No one's actually gotten a dragon yet. Zed is 713. He's still a little behind the Oriana and farm, but when you've got seven kills and your lane opponent only has one, uh, yeah, he's obviously a lot stronger. He's also two levels above her. Oh, she goes too far out away from her. Thing. There she's ignited and she dies. That was just a bad move by Oriana. She got caught out of position. 
Pantheon's looking to try to follow up on the Zed, but Zed's just saying, hey, I've got ghosts for days, buddy. And he's just going to try to get out of there. He's going to take some tower damage. Oh, here comes the Pantheon ult, though. And very nice, I must say. Good job by Pantheon. All right, now Kha'Zix getting chased down by Jace. Looks like Jace is lo really looking for that kill. Oh. Kha'Zix not able to use his uh, ultimate to, to, to escape. So there you go. Ryze is heading back to the lane. Meanwhile, we've got a fight down here. Ezreal goes ham under turret. Both of the ADCs go down. Maokai gets the kill on Vayne. And Maokai does have... what does he have now? He has the Righteous Red Glory. It's destroyed. one of the newer items. One that I haven't really been hearing too much about, so it'll be interesting to see how well it works for him. It's got a bunch of 500 health, 300 mana, uh, health regeneration, 100% off of the base. It's got the, uh, it's like a Rod of Ages and that it restores health and mana when you level up. And it has an active, grants 60% movement speed to nearby allies when moving towards enemies or to en enemy turrets for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, Shockwave is emitted, slowing the enemy champion movement speed by 80% for a second. And you can also reactivate it early to instantly release the Shockwave. Oriana's low again. She's going to be forced right out of that mid, and this is... If it wasn't for Pantheon coming in, I'd say that mid, mid turret would be taken, but... Instead, I'd say he's got a pretty good shot at keeping the turret alive. Although he's taking pretty good harass from Ezreal. Oh, three in a row. He's now below half. Blitz is coming in out hard, though. Gets the hook, gets the knockup, gets the exhaust. That's a Pantheon kill with big, big, big assist from Blitzcrank to get it. Maokai's going hard on Bane. Bane actually goes the other way. I don't think he was quite expecting that. She's actually went a good direction in order to get more harass on him. He goes awfully low before he gets away. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be disappointed that she couldn't get the kill, but she is going to push this wave under turret. There's no one else on red team anywhere nearby, so she will get the bottom lane turret as well. Blitzcrank really wants the kill on Maokai. Gets his passive popped. Oh! Takes one last hit from the turret, and I think it was actually some minion aggro that actually did the real kill there. Maokai gets credit for it, though. <laughs> Maokai's 414. Pantheon going back in with the stun. Here comes a big, big move, big help from Oriana. And that's a kill on Ezreal. He was not expecting to help over the wall from the Clockwork Lady. And it looks like bottom lane inner turret's going to immediately fall as well. There it goes. Good job by blue team to take advantage of the situation. Meanwhile, Ryze sees how that's a lot of people over there on the bot lane. And he's going to push in the top lane turret. Not the greatest split pusher, but he does get powerful in the late game. He's got his Rod of Ages. That's stacking up nicely. Uh, Sorcerer Shoes. He's got a Glacial Shroud now, so he's getting tankier as well. Uh, plus that gives mana, which does increase his damage. And he's got the Tear of the Goddess, which is about three quarters of the way there. Bane's putting some damage on Maokai. Maokai goes in, but there's a lot of follow-up from blue team, so Oriana is going to get the kill. That was, he was just a little bit too far away from his own team and a little bit too deep into the blue team to survive that one. Zed going in, but he's going to get knocked up, CC'd, and killed, I think. No, he manages to escape using his ghost. He's on a sliver of health. And Ryze gets a kill on Oriana. Three members of Team Blue are super low. Oh, Zed gets the long range harass for the kill. And uh, Ryze kills Pantheon, wow. Okay, Blitzcrank also went down uh, a little bit earlier in that exchange. Bunch of red minions coming in. Jace, however, is is here to defend. Zed is heading back. Does head back to the base. Jace is going in hard. Does some damage, but he's taking a lot of damage too, and he's not really able to get a kill. Turret's on a sliver of health too, so that's a danger too. <laughs> he could think he's safe under turret and then lose it. Oh! 
not able to dodge the Israel ult gets caught out by the fact that the turret was right there. Does put down a, a bit of burst, but oh, Blitz Plank, Plank, uh, Hook is gonna miss. Here comes Malkai, Blitz is in trouble, but Pantheon's here to help. Rise gets exhausted, Rise is low, Rise gets killed by Pantheon. Malkai is being, is following up. Jace is still low, misses with his Q. Zed gets yet another kill on Orianna. Malkai is basically just going to escape through the jungle. Doesn't look like it, the blue team is going to be able to catch him at this point. Zed's heading back. Vayne does not know where Zed is. And Vayne's going to knock out some the blue minion. Uh, sorry, the blue buff here. She has the blue buff now, and she's just going to clear the clear the wave. She clears the camp, and now Grump is here, so she'll have a bit of extra gold and experience from that. There we go. Maokai's pinging on the dragon. Oh, throws a Z over there. <laughs> Blitz hook somehow misses just by a sliver. Pantheon goes down. Blitzcrank decides that he's got to back out of there. Oh, Maokai takes aggro from the dragon. But that's okay. Zed's coming in to start it up. And Ezreal's there as well. And they do take out the dragon. Alright, that is the first dragon buff. So 8% more attack damage and ability power. That buff by itself, because it's the first one, does make me wonder if certain champions like Zed and a few others who make good use of both AP and AD, if they're not going to have some sort of advantage in the meta coming up in the new season. But we'll see. Alright. Jace is pushing up on the turret tower. I guess he feels he can escape. Meanwhile, Zed and Orianna going in hard. The ultimate kills uh, Vayne even after Vayne kills the Zed. So there you go. Uh, Orianna is 3, 6, and 2. She's still ahead of Zed in farm, so she's trying her to make herself useful as best she can. Zed's pretty well farmed, though, so it's not, it's not like that's a huge help. He's 12, 3, and 7. He is getting huge. He's got the Blade of the Ruin King, he's got Yamumu's, he's got Last Whisper. He's got his boots and a pickaxe besides. He's pushing back the, the red wave here. From that inner top turret. And Blitz looks like he wants to hide out in the bushes. And now he heads out. They're gonna head towards the, the top of the top lane. And Blitzcrank, uh, sorry not Blitzcrank, uh, Pantheon's gonna push out the bot lane. Okay. Now that he's level 13, Kha'Zix has no problem with the raptors. <laughs> but he, uh... Still trying to... He's got the toadstools, so he's got that one. He's got regenerating, so I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Kha'Zix is going to get his red buff. Rise is going to push back uh, the top top lane, and Ezreal's gonna push back to the bottom lane, so neither team's really able to do much just uh, on, its, on its own. They're both doing a pretty good job of... Oh, here comes uh, Kha'Zix with the big jump. Exhaust goes down. Bane does as much damage as she can before she goes down, but that's all she can do. Blitzcrank is getting low too. He's uh, putting some damage down, and the rest of the blue team is here to... Kha'Zix <laughs> says he's out of there, but... <laughs> Maokai doesn't have the, that option, and he actually does go down. Now, Team Red has a, a ward here that's, you know, permanent. They can't do anything about the fact that they have the grab buff here. They're going to go for the Baron anyway. I don't know how good an idea or bad an idea it is, but Rise is awfully close by. Yeah, they decide to back off. Ooh, Pantheon gets really low. Blitzcrank with the pull. Oh, but he goes down too much damage from the Rise, and Rise gets the Jace as well. That's just... That's just Blitzcrank baiting his own team. And Orianna is almost out of mana. She's gonna she's kinda useless in this fight. She's trying to get out of here. Kha'Zix, oh, acted like he wanted to go in, but then decided not to. Ezreal ult coming out, doesn't look like it's gonna hit anything. Vayne is uh, in some real trouble. Ezreal gets the kill. However, Pantheon with a double kill. Ezreal and Rise. Oh, tries to get the Kha'Zix, but 
can't quite. Goes down to Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix will walk out of there on about 1-6 health. Now fighting Zed is going for that middle turret, the one with the, that gives out the shields now. And the minions are not able to even touch the shield on that turret. There's another wave, but Blitz is there to kind of help out. That's not going to do much either. Jace is pushing a wave away from the inner bottom turret. And Zed's just saying, I think it's time for me to go back. Nope, he doesn't. He's only got 300 gold. He's going to knuckle drag his way back down to the bottom lane, do some farming, and try to get some damage on the turret. Ooh, nice empowered Q from Jace there. That puts Zed at half health. Blitz wants to chase him down. He's using his speed up to do it. Another empowered Q. Throws his hook. There's the flash from Maokai to avoid it. <coughs> Excuse me. And Vayne's going to take out the red buff. And boy, she's doing pretty good damage now. Let's see what item she's got. She got Blade of the Rune King. She's got Phantom Dancer and the BF Sword as well. Plus second level shoes. Pretty good. And Maokai gets caught out and killed. Too much CC, too much damage. All right. Oriana is now 4, 6, and 3. A little stronger. She's got Zanya. She's got Moro and Amakon. Oh, Vayne kills the Ezreal real quick. But Kha'Zix kills the Blitzcrank. There's a teleport in. Both sides are getting low. Kha'Zix gets the Pantheon, but Vayne gets the Rise. Oriana and Jace are backing off there. Kha'Zix is hanging around. Not sure if he really wants to go in. Maybe he's going, hoping for an action, for an assassination, but if with Oriana right there to give a shield, I don't think he'd have much luck. There's a big wave pushing in top. Looks like Jace is heading that way. And Vayne is going to head back to town. Kha'Zix is, sees the wave. Maybe he's going to go in and try to sneak attack on Jace now that he's by himself. Guess we'll find out. Alright, Jace is going out, and Kha'Zix is going to follow up. He's between the minion waves, so he cannot be spotted yet, but now he'll, he should be visible. Jumps in real quick, gets a lot of damage on Jace, but knocks him back. Misses with the, with the long range ability there, the Q. Jace acceleration gates himself, flashes out, nicely done to escape. Kha'Zix is nowhere near, he's going to have a hard time hunting Jace down. Blitz is there, but whew, Kha'Zix does a lot of damage. He get he exhausts, exhausts him, and Pantheon actually gets the kill on Kha'Zix. Zed puts a little harass to keep them from following, and they are going to head out. Bane is the, nearby. Ooh, she sees Zed. She's getting ulted by Zed. She's doing damage, but she's getting damage, and she does get killed by the ultimate pop. That is one big wet splat. And Zed is about third health. Ezreal comes by, but it's not going to hit anyone. And Pantheon's got his got a blue buff there, and he's looking for some damage. Dragon has come back up, and it looks like both teams have the same idea. They both want to take that out and prevent the other team from getting it. All right. Oh, Blitz hook misses. Pantheon taking too much damage. Going in a little ham. He's tanky, but it's not that tanky. Blitzcrank has to back out. Looks like, yep, Oriana gets a GA pop. Alright, sorry, Zanya's pop. That was a Zanya's, not a, she doesn't have a GA. Just the Zanya's there then. I saw the Zanya's, but I also thought I saw something else there. Red team it takes advantage of those kills to take out the dragon. They have two stacks, so they've got the plus 8% ADAP. And they've got 15 more 15 percent more damage to minions and monsters. Zed takes out Blitzcrank and Vayne. And that's going to be the ace. It's now 39 to 24 in terms of kills. Red team is ahead by 8,000 gold. They're behind in turrets. A huge, huge wave coming in towards top lane. But Ryze is just going to get it there just in time. He's going to get a ton of farm from it. There we go. Whew, that's nice. He's actually a uh, master of farm so far. He's got 247. That's more than anyone else in the game by quite a bit. 
Red team is also going for Baron. They are going to get Baron buff. There he goes. That's a very cool new animation there. And they've got uh, both of the major neutral objectives. Pantham's going to spot that out. And he's going to head back to his jungle. Now, we're going to see how well the red team can push when they've got the Baron buff on them. Pantheon's going to use his ultimate. Ooh, he's getting stunned though, and he's getting CC'd more, and that's just too much. He goes down. Vayne was too far ahead. He, She goes down. And now Blitz goes down as well, so all the members of Team Blue getting caught out one by one. I don't think this turret's going to last too long with a wave, all those members of Team Red, and the Baron buff helping out the minions. Yeah, in fact, it's ridiculously easy for them to push with that Baron buff. All five of them there are there, and there's just no way that this turret's going to last more than a few seconds. Maokai's going to jump in. Kazuk gets the kill on Oriana. Zed gets the kill on the turret as well as the one on Jace. And Maokai takes out the inhibitor. Ezreal's looking like he's wanting to end this. And the second of the Nexus turrets is going down. And that is going to be probably it. Vayne's trying to do what you can, but... Oh, sorry, that was Pantheon, actually. Pantheon's trying to do what he can. There's the Vayne going down. And that's going to be the Nexus. Congratulations to the red team. Woo! 16-4-10-Z. Yeah, I think we'll give him the MVP on that one. I think, uh, let's see, what time is it? Uh, unfortunately, I think I've got to call it good for tonight, folks. This has been Chill for Game Watchers Network. And if you can follow me on right here on Twitch. Or you can uh, follow me on Twitter. I do tweet out every time that, the, that I start out the stream. And that's at GameWatchersNet. Till next time, I'll see you. This is Chill. Bye-bye.